Hello, Tendai from Med Tutors here. In this video, I'll be talking about the resources you want to use for USMLE. Step one. In this video, we're going to talk about the key book resource you want to have. We're going to talk about video resources you want to use, and we're going to talk about question banks that you want to use to prepare for this exam. Let's start talking about the key book resource you want to have. That's going to be your first aid book. Your first aid book is going to be very, very important. You're going to use this book to pretty much have all the concepts you need to know in one place. This book is going to have a lot of high yield information you will need to know going into your exam. It's going to have useful charts, useful diagrams, and useful histology images. A question a lot of people have is, do I need to know everything in the first aid book? My answer to that is no. The USMLE Step 1 exam will be a concept-based exam. Therefore, you want to understand the key concepts and make connections and integrations with other disciplines. It's important to be aware of the pathology of a specific condition and find out does that pathology mechanism have anything to do with the genetics, with the specific gene? What's going to be the pathophysio effect of someone having this disease? Is there any biochemistry or immunoconcepts that are related to that specific disease? Because once you're making these connections, you're able to have the bigger picture and understand the big concepts and make the required integrations making these key connections as you go and prepare for the exam. When it comes to video resources, the two I would recommend would be either using Kaplan or the Boards and Beyond videos. The Kaplan videos will be very useful for those that were learning in medical school within a subject-based curriculum. By that I mean you are learning physiology as a separate subject, pathology as a separate subject, and pharmacology as a separate subject. This is more of a subject-based approach. If you'd like to know more information regarding the Kaplan on live lectures and how you wanna utilize this resource, take a look at the link above where I talk about this in more detail. The Boards and Beyond videos will be very useful for those that learned in medical school in a system-based approach and also those who want to approach studying for the exam in a system-based approach. I'm going to focus some time discussing about the Boards and Beyond video resource. These videos are going to be a good resource to use to build up your foundational knowledge. They can be used in conjunction with your first aid textbook because you're gonna be annotating some of the key information you see in the videos, putting them in your first aid book. Another benefit of using the boards and beyond videos is you're gonna be able to do some quizzes right after watching a video, giving you the opportunity to, to make sure you understood the concepts that were discussed within the video. You want to use these videos as a good foundational concept to build up your knowledge as you progress in your studying for the USMLE step one. The boards and beyond and Kaplan videos will be adequate enough to use as solo resources in conjunction with your first aid textbook. If you want to supplement, let's say, the pathology aspect, a nice resource to use would be Pathoma. These videos are gonna cover and focus on the basic concepts you want to know for pathology regarding to the USMLE Step 1. They will also have system-based aspects also, focusing on the different pathologies in the different systems. Another supplemental resource that can be used would be Sketchy Micro. You can supplement this and substitute the microbiology aspect using Sketchy Micro. This will be a useful memorization tool to remember the key concepts you want to be aware of regarding each of the different microbes and the different types of infections that we can have.
by far the best resource to use will be the you world question bank it's important to know when you use your you world question bank you're going to want to go over two passes using this resource the first pass you're going to be able to learn a lot as you go through the questions because during this pass you're pretty much applying the knowledge you know and at this moment you're going to be finding some of the key areas that you would continue to want to work on as you continue your studying for the USMLE Step 1 exam. It's important to write down some of these key concepts you would like to go over as you continue to study. So I advise you to either have a questions diary to keep track of all the wrong concepts you had or to annotate this in your first aid book you could annotate some of the u world question ids specifically within the heading that was related to the question or the concept you are working on it's important to do two passes like i mentioned when you finish your first pass you also want to take the time to understand and learn from your incorrects because you don't want to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. You will see that when you do your second pass of UWorld, you will be getting an improvement in your percentage scoring as you saw compared to the first one. That's because you're getting the hang of how to apply your knowledge in these questions. In your first pass of UWorld, you can go over the questions using tutor mode and you can go through a system-based approach as you do the question. I would advise you to do two blocks per day. Therefore, you would like to do about 80 questions per day. And remember, you want to focus heavily on some of the questions you get wrong in order to make sure you're not making the same mistakes over and over again. I would advise you to go over these questions periodically. Each block of questions will take you one hour. Therefore, if you're doing two blocks per day, you're spending two hours doing questions. You want to revise each block for about two hours. Therefore, you're going to have six hours of study time that you have one hour doing questions, and then two hours doing revision of that block. Once you do this and you've studied for six hours using this method, the remainder of the day can be used to focus on specific subject areas or system areas that you are wanting to work on as you continue to prepare for your USMLE Step 1 exam. The second pass of UWorld should be in timed mode and these should be mixed questions because at this time you are approaching closer and closer to the exam date. Therefore, you want to fine tune your test taking technique and you want to ensure that you're able to complete the questions within the time allocated. The Anki software, this is going to be very helpful if you are a person that likes to go over these memorizable concepts, right? And using spaced repetition, this is going to be very helpful to see the material you want to work on and memorize more and more frequently. So what you can do is you can use pre-made Anki flashcards that have been made by other medical students as they were preparing for exams and you can use these to memorize the high yield important facts that you want to know. I'm going to put some of these flashcard decks in the link below in the descriptions. So feel free to explore and take a look to see which of the popular decks you would like to use. These were some of the resources that you could use as you prepare for the USMLE Step 1 exam. Remember, it's important to be picky about the resources you use because ultimately you want to use the resources that are going to be most helpful for you. Therefore, once you get into that rhythm with the resources you're using, you want to stick to them all the way through and make any minor adjustments that you may need to make along the way. When it comes to assessing your progress and discussing the UWorld self-assessment exams and also discussing the NBME assessment exams also too, I will talk about that in my upcoming videos. A question that many students have is, when am I going to take the exam or when am I ready to take the exam? Those are going to be questions I'm going to be answering 
in the upcoming med tutors videos feel free to like and subscribe to this youtube channel if you are interested in registering for the high yield reviews please contact med tutors